Most of you are slaves. And the reason you have no problem with slavery or feeling like a slave or feeling subjugated is because you live subjugated lives. If you work in Subway, you're already a slave. So if someone says put a mask on, you're a slave. You Slaves comply. You've complied your whole life, so it doesn't bother you. The reason masks bother me so much is because I am not a slave. I am a free man. I'm rich. I've got fuck you money. I've got no employer. I can say what I want. I go what I want. I do what I want. I've broken every single lockdown rule. I'm not a slave. So when people say, oh, it's just a mask, put it on. These are people which have been conditioned to slavery. They're never as successful as I. They never have what I have. They never have the pizzazz I have. They just, a lot of them may think they have. Well, I'm free too. You're not. You're fucking, you're paying your taxes. You're not free for shit. You're a dork. So these people, these mask wearers, have a slave's mindset. And let me tell you something. If you're a dominant individual and you want to make someone a slave, what you have to do is humiliate them. You've seen this a million times. This is basic psychology. You've seen it when people go, a woman on TV, my man used to make me do all these horrible things, make me do these sex things, or made me hide that murdered body. Fucking stupid bitch, driving a hybrid so she can't fucking drive. You wanna die? Fuck, cunt, carry on. So there's always some woman saying some stupid shit and they'll always come out the same thing. He humiliated me, he embarrassed me. And the point is that when you humiliate someone, when you embarrass someone, when you make someone do things they don't really wanna do, you condition their mind in a certain way towards submission. Humiliation is linked to submission. The COVID rules regarding masks have nothing to do with safety and nothing to do with medical advice. They are designed to humiliate you. The mask is designed to humiliate you. There is no reason why I walk into a restaurant, I'm supposed to wear a mask. I sit down at the table, I take the mask off. I eat food and talk with all my friends. Then I put the mask back on to stand up, go toilet and go piss. Because when I'm pissing and walking, the virus is real. Then walk back to the table, sit down, take it back off and continue. Do you not understand? This has nothing to do with medical science. Gotten. We're doing this for because it's a perfect opportunity for the new world order to usher in something other than protection and safety. It's, it's always been the same playbook. It's, it's, you know what's really amazing to me? Especially like in Romania, I was going on a tour and I was doing a tour of the country because it's really beautiful and I was seeing all the nature side that I, and I had these two tour guides. They're really nice people, but they're like kind of liberal. Da -da. And they're complying with all this COVID shit. And I said, don't you understand that if this was the 1930s, you'd literally be the Nazis? Don't you understand that mm. all the, you think, you're thinking back, oh, I never would have helped the Nazis. Da -da. You're blind compliance. It's the same fucking playbook. You're not thinking for yourself. Does that not cross your mind? And like, oh no, but I know someone who got sick. You've always known people who got sick. Your entire life you knew somebody who got the cold. Why is that now justification for the absolute decimation of, of your civil rights? It doesn't make sense. The, the, the biggest paradigm shift from all this crap that's actually genuinely dangerous is, as humans, we have all, for our entire lives, walked around spreading antigens to some people. You've, made, you've given someone a cold. You've given oh, someone yeah. a cough. I've given someone the flu. We've always done that. It's been a normal part of human life. We were never seen as bad people for existing and, and, and accidentally passing on a disease, right? Now they've shifted the paradigm. So if you pass on, you're guilty. How does that work? Yeah. And, and how does that ever end? And how do you ever put an end to this where it's not just deeper and deeper and deeper restrictions and more and more and more control?